Hi everyone, welcome to the video. This one is about my stock photography and stock footage earnings for the month of May 2022. And May was a pretty gruelling month for me. It was really super productive, uh, but it was also really hard work. Um, and I'm just coming off the back end of recovering from the corona, so I'm still, my body is still a little bit tired. So uh, this video is coming from a person who's feeling a little bit mentally and physically tired today. So excuse me if my energy is a bit low. May uh, saw a lot of things happening uh, for stock photography and also personally. Uh, we had a severe leak in our bathroom which caused uh, water to come through our ceiling. Uh, so we really had to bite the bullet and take a real financial hit and get our bathroom uh, repaired. Uh, so for two weeks uh, we were living with no bathroom and uh, a worker coming in and just basically destroying things and making a hell of a racket for two weeks which was pretty gruelling. Uh, I was super busy at my work as well, uh, which took a lot out of me. But on the stock photography videography side, there were some really uh, excellent opportunities presented to me in May. And now that uh, the pandemic is over, for the most part in the Netherlands, there are events going on. So I really wanted to take advantage of these international events that are taking place now that things are opening up. The first event was an old uh, army vehicles uh, show uh, that took place in the east of the Netherlands. And I was going there to take photos for stock photography, but I thought, uh, back to when I was a photojournalist, I would reach out to magazine editors and just ask if they wanted uh, a photo story. So that's what I did. I reached out to a, a magazine in the UK and I said, oh, I'm going to this event. Do you want some of my photos to publish in your magazine? And I half expected them to say, well, can you write an article as well? I was kind of hoping they wouldn't because I didn't really have the energy to uh, write an article uh, which would take at least a day or two uh, out of my life and I didn't really want to do that. They came back to me and said, yeah, we'll love some photos, but can you write a, a 1500 word article to 2000 word article? And I said yes, because it was an opportunity. So. I went to this uh, show and I took uh, a couple of videos just to show you guys what, what I was doing, uh, but primarily it was a photo, uh, photo article or a photo story for a magazine. Uh, so that, uh, that was good because that little job of one day earned me uh, around 300 euros. Uh, take away expenses for food and fuel and it's around 220 euros for the day, which is not bad. And it was good fun as well. What else happened in May? There was a fantastic event that has been cancelled for the last two years uh, in the Netherlands and I was delighted to see that it was going ahead on May the 22nd and that's the air-cooled VW car show that was held at Scheveningen in The Hague uh, and I was so excited that I could hardly even sleep the night before uh, the event and when I went to the event I was just kind of overwhelmed by all the possibilities of photos of these beautiful old classic vehicles uh, which have earned me over $900 uh, just in two photos alone. Uh, I think overall uh, my earnings from VW photos is reaching up towards the $1,500 mark, maybe even more for all of the agencies. So of course after two years I was just really bursting to get there and do this. And I got to the event and I just started taking photos and I think I just put so much emotional pressure on myself 
uh, to make sure I got the best photos that I could. Then I noticed that the organizers had moved a lot of the cars back against a wall instead of forward so that you could take a photo of the vehicle with the beach and the sea in the background, which is the money shot for these vehicles. You know, bringing out the lifestyle and the freedom and all of that kind of thing when you have a VW camper van. Uh, and I got talking to a couple of the guys who uh, brought their vehicles and uh, just to show that I was a little bit overawed by the whole thing, I was really critical that uh, they put the vehicles against the wall because you take a photo of the vehicle and all you have in the background is a concrete wall which is really shit. So my emotions got the better of me and I, I just said oh, it's so stupid that they put these cars against the back wall <laughs> and they kind of looked at me strangely and the conversation stopped so I have a feeling I was a little bit uh, overtired or overstimulated and I reflected back on how I uh, reacted to that and I thought yeah something's not quite right with me so um, it's always good to take a bit of a step back uh, if you feel that you've got too much on your shoulders just so you kind of retain the balance of who you are I guess but anyway despite that uh, I got 1200 photos of all these different types of VW vehicles ranging from Beetles, uh, campers and other coupes and other models uh, I tried a bit of video, but it was just so crowded and I, was, I think I was just so overwhelmed. I just couldn't mentally tackle video and get these uh, photos right at the same time. So I just gave up completely on the video after one or two tries and I'm satisfied with the photos that I've got. I uploaded uh, about 20 of them so far to about six or seven agencies and I've already sold two of them on Shutterstock which is a good sign. Okay now talking about uh, my long-term strategy I've learned from uh, my stock earnings for May that a huge amount of my sales came from video uh, for that month. Uh, which just confirms my strategy for the future and that is to focus more on video. Also book covers which I still haven't got around to yet, uh, life got in the way. But my strategy is to get a camera that is primarily a professional video camera that can also do stills. At the moment I'm using a Canon 70D DSLR which is primarily an enthusiast photo camera body that can also do some video and that some video is only 1080p uh, resolution and I think it's only up to 30 frames a second which in this day and age just doesn't cut it uh, to be competitive on the stock footage market. So what I want is uh, a body that will give me uh, close enough to professional quality video which is 60, uh, 4K resolution 60p or 60 frames per second and can also do stills photography uh, to a standard that's good enough or good or excellent quality for stock uh, acceptances. So I've been looking at the Canon R7 primarily because it's $1,500 US at the moment compared to $2,500 US for a Canon uh, R6 which is the full frame uh, version of uh, Canon's mirrorless uh, bodies. Uh, it's a 20 megapixel uh, but it is a thousand dollars more than I want to pay. The R7 is also five hundred dollars more than I want to pay but I think for the money that's probably the best option. I'm not going to put in a pre-order though because I want to see how the 4K 60p footage uh, looks like. So I just want to make sure that the video quality is good enough to last me 
into the stock footage market for another five years because I want a camera that will do it all. I don't want to be lugging around a separate video camera and a separate stills camera. Okay, so how did I do in the month of May for stock photography and stock footage? Let's get into it. So let's start off with IEM. Normally I lump this in with the small fish agency such as Dreams Time, 123RF, uh, Big Stock, etc. But in May I got a lot of uh, notifications in my email that uh, I was selling a lot of photos on IEM. In total I sold 34 photos for the month of May. Uh, in my portfolio I have 494 photos and of those 494, uh, 371 of those photos are placed on the IEM market which is just sold by directly by IEM to customers and 211 of my 494 photos are shared out to partner agencies. Um, so that gives you an idea of the size of my portfolio. They're all commercial photos and every single one of those photos does not have a person in them. So they're pretty much um, product photos or still life kind of photos. I sold 34 assets and most of them were of just the standard mustard pot which I just sell all the time for some reason. Uh, but one of those uh, was of the stack of used hard drives that I'd accumulated and took a kind of product photo of. And that photo sold for $3.50, which is uh, my biggest sale for IEM for several months. The other photo sales ranged from 10 cents to 90 cents. So in May with IEM, I made $9.89. I also had a bit better month for iStock Getty in May. Uh, for that portfolio I've got around 2,000 images and around 130 or so videos. I sold three or four videos uh, with iStock Getty. Uh, the biggest amount that I earned was $3.39 for a video I took with my phone. Uh, when there was a hailstone and uh, there were hailstones, sorry, there was a hailstorm and the stones were falling on my trampoline in my backyard and I just took up a close-up uh, video shot of the hailstones landing on the trampoline. Uh, so that was good to sell that photo, uh, video uh, taken just with my iPhone. Uh, 4K 60p with an iPhone SE and the other videos were just of the gannet on the beach and they sold for less money. I also sold an uh, image for $1.80 of a blue VW vehicle which was good and in total I earned $19.76 for iStock Getty. Okay, now for the small fish agencies. This time I've only included two of them because I just couldn't be bothered uh, looking up the results for Big Stock and 123RF this month. Uh, Dreams Time and Deposit Photos. I've got roughly 2,000 images in both of those portfolios and not so many videos because I don't think I've ever sold a video on those uh, agencies. So with Dreams Time and Deposit Photos I had a couple of highlights. Uh, for Dreams Time I took a still life commercial photo of some cushion covers being made or sewn and the colours were really vibrant so I thought I'd make a nice still life photo and I just sold that photo for 35 cents but I really liked the photo and was happy that it sold probably for the first time too. Uh, with deposit photos there was a highlight where I went to the beach one summer and I came across this tree which was just totally clad in silver web uh, like some kind of uh, fairy tale or nightmare depending on your perspective. Uh, when I looked closer I discovered that underneath the web were thousands and thousands of caterpillars and I think they make the web to protect themselves from predatory birds um, and that photo earned me $1.37. 
Uh, so in total for Dreams Time I earned 315 for May and for Deposit Photos I earned $3.82. Now to Adobe Stock, which is one of my favorite agencies. And I've got 1,048 images and a roughly around 50 videos for Adobe Stock. Uh, in May, I had 21 downloads and I earned $18.58, which I think is up about maybe 5% from last month's earnings. A couple of highlights were uh, a tree that had fallen across the road in the last storm in autumn and that earned me $3.96 as an editorial image and I also sold three editorial photos that I took of the VW uh, car show in Scheveningen about three or four years ago uh, and they sold for 99 cents each. Okay, now to another one of my favorite agencies, and that's Alamy, the UK-based uh, stock agency. And I only sold one photo on Alamy uh, in May, and that was of the portrait-style photo of Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands as she was attending an event in The Hague about pff, 10 years ago. Um, and it was an editorial, uh, the photo was an editorial rights-managed photo and it sold for $21.87. Uh, it was uh, during my time as a photo journalist and I was at the event uh, and it was kind of a spontaneous photo. It wasn't a, a, a typical photo moment, it was just capturing, capturing a second in time where she's just going through a door and uh, kind of gets all of the emotions of her and the people around her. So it's a really fun photo and I like it a lot. I sold that photo last November as well on Alamy and that's back then in uh, 2021. It sold for $81 and I think it was to a British television studio uh, who must have used it in one of their TV programs for some reason. Uh, so in total for Alamy I earned $21.87. Pon5 now, which I only have videos on, and I actually made a sale in May. Uh, I think it's the first sale I've made in Pon5 for a few months now. So it's been pretty disappointing for me, although I haven't uh, put in the work, to be honest. So it's understandable as well. I made $3.02 for just the standard video of my gannet stuck on the beach, trapped in plastic. Not a fun photo, or not a fun video, I should say. Okay, and now to my most successful agency for May 2022, and that was Shutterstock. And there was a real turnaround with Shutterstock for this month in uh, comparison to the last uh, six or so months and that is I sold quite a few videos in fact I sold fifth, uh, five videos in total uh, but they made up uh, three quarters of my uh, earnings for that agency in May so it was pretty interesting anyway let's get into it I had 41 downloads uh, in total 36 of those were for images and five were videos. Uh, with Shutterstock, I've got around 200, uh, for Shutterstock, I've got around 2,200 odd uh, images and around 140 videos now. Okay, a couple of the video highlights were, uh, one uh, that I took with my iPhone SE, uh, of a Scheveninger beach at the harbour entrance uh, and in the foreground there's some plastic washed up on the beach and in the uh, mid or background you've got uh, shipping going out of the harbour entrance on a really bright blue sunny day. So I was really happy to sell that editorial video for $7.54. <clears throat> I sold another video of the uh, Gannet Trapped in Plastic, which is a commercial video of for $14.81. Uh, 
and I sold another editorial video when I was at a theme park with my family sitting at a table and there were hundreds of bees hovering over all of the, the food uh, and drink cups that were left on the table. Uh, and that made $6.78, that video. Um, I sold another Gannett video for $21.44. And the last video I sold was on the last day of May for $12.65. And that's when I was uh, at the beach and there was a, a thermal dr uh, drilling rig uh, drilling uh, into the ground to uh, try and tap into uh, water reserves which uh, use, is used to heat the houses and buildings in the area. So I think it's called thermal heating. So I'm not sure if that was taken with my phone or my Panasonic FZ300 but uh, yeah it was good to get that sale in as well. So in total I made $63.22 out of videos alone for uh, May with, eight, uh, with Shutterstock. Okay, getting into some image highlights now. I made two sales of the latest batch of VW uh, combi vans that I took uh, midway through May. And these photos were of one combi van, I believe. Uh, with a, a trailer behind it or with a uh, canoe on top of the roof. I think it had a trailer behind it and a canoe on the roof. Uh, and it was a really old vehicle and uh, just those extra things of the trailer and the canoe on the roof I think gave that photo uh, some extra interest value for customers. Uh, both of those photos sold for 68 cents each and they were editorial. I also sold an on-demand uh, photo of some daffodils shot at a low angle with some blue sunny sky behind it and that was a commercial photo for a one dollar and fifty seven cents. I also sold a photo uh, in Tasmania of a tiger snake that was crawling around its enclosure. It's a commercial photo that's my cat I'm patting there. And that earned me $1.95. Um, and I also sold uh, a photo that I took at the VW exhibition three or four years ago of an orange combi van with a tent on top of it. That was editorial for 83 cents. In total for uh, images for Shutterstock, I made $16.86. So $60 for five video sales and $16 for 36 image sales. That really tells you uh, where the money is in the stock market uh, for the coming years, I think. And uh, my focus really has to be on that primarily hunting out the video subjects, but also taking video and photos. In total for Shutterstock, I earned $80.08. Okay, now let me tell you how much I earned in total for the month of May. But before I do that, if you feel like supporting my channel, feel free to buy me a coffee or a decaf cappuccino. The link is in the description. I give a lot of information in these videos and from the feedback that I've received I know that it is helpful to uh, some of the people who watch these videos. So if you're uh, helped by my information then feel free to make a small or large donation in the form of a cup of coffee. So how much effort did I put into stock photography in May? Well, I spent about two hours uploading those 20 photos of the BWs. Um, and I spent uh, probably about four hours going to that exhibition uh, and photographing. So probably a, about a day. So in total for May, I earned $160.17. Uh, which is my best month for several months, I think, and it's looking pretty promising for the future. All right, guys, hope you are doing well with your portfolios too, and that your results 
are on the up like mine were in May. Let me know how you went and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!